Okay, here we go. Um, the market report from our realtor board, and this is from September because we're still in October. And I just find it truly fascinating because it actually just totally mirrors how my year has gone with real estate. So I pulled from two zip codes, 90815 and 90803. And how these reports work is, you know, I think these are still going to be backwards. That's unfortunate. But what they do is they're going to take September 2020 and today, September 2021, and they're going to compare them. So what they're comparing are new listings, pending sales, and closed sales. And just what really jumps out is the negative percentage change, meaning there are so fewer listings, pending sales, and closed sales as there were September of last year. And then um, the other thing is we look at, we look at the median price from, from September until this year. And last year, the median price was 770,000, and this is in 90815, and this year it's 930,000. That, so that's a 20% jump. Wow, that's a big jump. Now, probably more realistic is where we're looking at the last tw the last 12 months. So it's the last 12 months of September 2020, and then we go through to 2021. And um, there, you know, you do see that there are more listings, there are more pending sales. I guess what um, the biggest drop is is number of days on market. So. 50% uh, less days on market, meaning it's coming on the market, boom, it's gone. Um, and then just let me, 90803, yeah, it's showing, oh my goodness, it's showing uh, pending sales 80% less, um, days on market 50% less. Median sale price in 90803 in September of this year was 1600000 600,000. Last year it was 1,250,000. Um, and then if we go through the last 12 months, which again just gives you a, probably a, a better snapshot, the median price range in 90803 is 1.4 million, up from 1.2 million, um, uh, you know, over the historic year. Um, and then I just, again, I, I, I don't think it's going to matter that the words are backwards, but can you see every hatch hash mark here is a year. So look at that hash mark from 2020 to 2021, how it just zips up. And the same thing in 90805. So I just wanna really quickly, it mirrors my year. I put a listing on in Lakewood uh, right after the first of the year. And I thought that, oh, I priced it how we like to price it a little bit below where we think it's gonna end up. Well, um, my goodness, we had 50 offers and it went uh, $50,000 over my list price. And that sort of correlates to what was happening in, in January. And I was working with buyers and um, I was like, oh my goodness, I thought we had written a, a high enough offer and it just, it was tripping up so quickly. You just couldn't even, um, you know, it was, it was difficult to grab a hold of it. And then what else did I want to say? Um, Oh, yeah, and then, you know, this whole, um, you know, less things, just less amount of things on the market and selling over the year, there's been as much, but right now it seems to be a little bit slow, which, which totally mirrors my years that uh, very busy in the first part of the year, lots of activity, lots of sales. And um, it just seems like a, a little bit of a <laughs> just a personal slowdown for myself, but um, I'm glad to see it. it's like, I'm not the only one. So sales are happening out there. Um, good time to be a seller, N a difficult time to be a buyer, renting a little bit difficult right now. Let's see. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, I'm here. Uh, you know, I like to talk real estate. If you are you a person who likes to talk real estate or if you're you're wondering um, what you should do right now with your real estate, give me a call. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.